Hi everyone, it's Miss Dragonfly back again. Welcome back to my channel and for those that are new, welcome. Now, if you don't already know, I am newly married and even more so, it's my first marriage and a cross-cultural one at that. New marriages go through a discovery period about each other if the couple did not live together beforehand, such as my husband and I. But on top of this, there are also surprises from differences in cultural practices that we are both used to. And this is what I'm going to go through today. Now, the first thing I was surprised about is that my husband didn't wash the vegetables before cooking. I asked around and it seems to be a common thing with Westerners. They don't wash them. I find this to be very strange as it's one thing about a bit of dirt on them, but what I'm really worried about is the pesticide residue on them. So when I pointed this out to him, he said that there's no point in washing as pesticide would have already been absorbed into them anyway. Then I had to point out that any amount of pesticide you can wash off is less the amount that you would have to absorb into have absorbed into your body. So there. Now, while we are on food, the next surprising thing was the large amount of meat he would eat at every meal and overall. Now, this is not a man thing, just a man thing, as even Asian men do not eat this much meat. I suppose it is because Western cuisine is very meat centered. And so if that's what you, you're used to eating, then you're going to be used to eating a lot of meat. So even though he loves Asian food, he still has to eat more meat than what I am used to. Now, after food, there is the washing up. He loves to use the dishwasher, whereas prior to getting married, I never used one in my life. I suppose it works better for Westerners because Westerners mainly use plates. So the dishwasher is fine for that. Dishwashers are not suitable for Asians as we use a lot of bowls, not as many plates and so forth. And so we prefer to scrub to get it up. And we don't think dishwashers will do a very good job because they basically just spray detergent and water. No scrubbing. So anything that does need scrubbing, you can't throw it in. Another surprising thing is he wants dim lighting at night in the living room. This I don't understand at all as I'm used to having living areas brightly lit. So it feels, well, you feel happy. It's inviting. You feel happy. You feel comfortable there. I mean, if you past a brightly lit shop, it feels inviting and you want to go in, go in rather than want to go into a dimly lit shop. That's not inviting. So I just wonder why he wants to be living in the dark. You know, are you a vampire? <laughs> now, while we're on the subject of lighting, sleeping at night. Now, Asians generally sleep with a dim light on, and that is what I grew up doing, so I'm used to it. The reason here is not to have complete darkness, as it's far too yin. Now, when you look at the yin-yang symbol, as most people are familiar with, notice that each side has a small bit of the other. So, one side is not completely white or black. This is the same reasoning here, whereas he needs complete darkness to sleep. The final thing is having cash on hand. As you know, Asians are used to dealing in cash, so we're used to always having some cash on hand. So when you go somewhere, it's like we always have to stop at an ATM first so he can go out there and get some money out can get pretty annoying sometimes. 
So these are the cultural differences we have encountered so far. Even though we are highly matched, um, you still cannot get away from some small differences due to the way that you were brought up and what you've been used to. So have you ever had a cross-cultural relationship? If you have, then let me know by leaving the comments below. And if you've enjoyed the video, then don't forget to click like and share and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so, as it will help me out a lot. So that's it for this week. Join me again in my next video um, next week. So until then, it's bye for now.